I remember for years they tried to persuade me and I also kind of resisted them. <laughs> Yet in 2019, I finally got myself my very first smartphone. And I was super skeptical about it. And about two weeks ago, it was the last drop. N not for me though, it was for the phone as it fell from the fridge and it wouldn't charge after. <laughs> what a great pun. Obviously, I wanted to get it fixed, so I go to the local service. Yeah, Tere. Selline küsimus, et kui palju maksaks umbes selline selle laadimispessa vahetus telefoni juures? Jaugus hetk. Noh, 90-120 eurot. Aitäh. My inner devil was like, come on man, be reasonable here, even if you're gonna get it fixed for the hundred, how long you think it's gonna last? Mm -hmm. But for the same money you can get a brand new phone, like imagine the package, getting the package, opening it, filled with the fresh, fresh Chinese air just packed for you man, and it's shiny and it's just like, mm, smooth and shit. I guess, I guess you're kind of right. Yet, mining of gold, barium, gallium, indium, graphite, magnesium, tantalum and other funny looking and sounding minerals that are necessary for production of a new phone are mostly mined in countries without any environmental or safety regulations for the mining companies. And that leads to child labor, abandoned villages, degradation of soil, cancer and other unnecessary unpleasantries. Yeah, I don't really care. And what crowns this nuttery of mining and production is the fact that 85% of all the electronics, which still contain materials that could be used for stuff like solar cells, end up either on landfill or even, funny enough, check this out. Man. Right. Drawers. Drawers. At people's homes, just, just, just staying there, man. You wonder what was the whispering right there? <laughs> Trap souls. This is how manufacturers rob us. You see, each time you use a smartphone, it captures a fracture of your soul, but each phone has a limited capacity. So they need to produce new phones to trap your soul completely. It takes about 60 phones to do that. I, 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 I wish this was true. At least it would make sense for, for someone, you know. So, right, your phone won't last and it isn't fixable because of, well, money. Which is a very efficient way to fill one's inner void. So let's be sympathetic with the phone manufacturers. Yet, if you are a human, then according to this EU research, 70% of you would actually prefer to get their phone fixed when it breaks instead of buying a new one. So if the phone manufacturers aren't after our souls, hopefully, then what is it what they are actually rubbing us off? So I just received this paper pigeon with the component that I suspect that is the problem of the phone. You see, I have really nothing to lose, so I'm gonna use my delicate fixing skills to try to fix it myself. And I believe the process of the fixing will illustrate very well what is the what is the real problem here. I have, I have actually kind of no clue what what, what, I, what, what, I'm, what I'm doing. What the phone manufacturers actually rub us off is currently very well possible model of economy where Thingies like this one are designed that when they fall, for instance, from a fridge or other household appliance, they wouldn't break, or even if they would, the fixing of them would be made so that, for instance, I will just pop out two screws here and then take its insides out and replace the component with a new one in a sort of Lego way. It would be modular. So the repair of it wouldn't be as expensive as buying the new thing. And while trying to fix it, there is probably like 7,500 things that I can fuck it up even more and making it basically impossible to repair afterwards. Fuck me, Tivole, curva do pici. Luckily, there are three things we mortals can currently do to make a change. The first thing you can do that before you're gonna buy your new phone, you can actually go and check on its repairability level on ifixit.com. There is a pretty good list of phones with the repairability rating. 
Second rule of thumb before buying a new phone is to actually go rather for a second-hand older flagship phone rather than a new cheaper one, as they are usually better made and tend to last longer. Second thing you can do is still try to fix the phone. If it doesn't make sense money-wise to do it in your local repair phone place, then you can either try to fix it yourself, if you're brave or stupid enough as I am, or find your local fab lab, makerspace, repair cafe, restart party or fix it clinic where you can find mortals who are happy to help you just for a chocolate or something. And the last thing you can do is to join the right to repair movement, which in general pushes forward legislations and laws that will make our life repairable. For instance, getting spare parts easily and the designs or the manuals, as well as allowing third parties to make the repairs, which can be illegal in some cases. <laughs> If you're in state, then go to repair.org slash stand up and sign yourself up. You can also pick up your state to contact your local representatives to make them sure that you are angry about this throwaway economy. If you are in Europe, then go to repair.eu and sign yourself up either as an individual or as an organization. And, and this goes for both of these organizations, if you are in the trouble of having too much money in your pocket and just burning your pockets out, then consider to donate to these organizations. If you find this video valuable, well, share it with your friend or your mortal enemy. They will also need a repairable future. So I heated the back of the phone and then tried to suck it open with this sucker, but it wasn't heated enough, so it ended up breaking the glass, which basically means now I cannot suck it open in any way. So the moral of my repair story is that well, we need to really make the economy <clears throat> more circular. Also, another moral is that if you have no idea what you're doing, maybe ask your friend to help you when you're fixing something you have never fixed before.